All right, here we go. Uh, today we are going to make a spiral staircase drawing. This is just a basic uh, pencil tracing that we're going to do in Photoshop. So here I've got my spiral staircase image. Okay, and I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to drop it right here on Photoshop. Looks just like this. And uh, we've kind of done this sort of activity before. But just as a reminder, we're going to make a couple of new layers. So here I go. I'm going to uh, layer, new layer. I'm going to call this one paper. I'll make another new layer. Here, new layer. I'm going to call this one drawing. So now we have one, two, three layers on our document. I'm going to go on my paper layer, clicking right here. Then over here in my toolbar on the left, I'm going to click the paint bucket tool. I'm on the gradient tool. I want the paint bucket underneath. So I'll highlight that. Now I'm going to pick kind of an off-white, uh, I want sort of a manila folder kind of color. Uh, maybe right about there. Okay. And now I'm just going to paint bucket that, bam, right on my paper layer. Now I'm going to lower the opacity on my paper layer so I can see through to the image underneath. I'm going to go down to about oh, 40%. That looks pretty good. Now I can lock the paper layer like so. That way I'm sure I'm not drawing on it. Now go to the drawing. Now I'm going to use my brush tool. Remember, even though we're doing a drawing, we really don't want to use the pencil tool. Uh, the pencil tool you'll see here does different things than the brush tool. It has a different effect. We want to use the brush tool. I'm going to choose my brushes up in here, and these are the basic brushes. I don't want those. Uh, to get a good pencil, I again like to go here to dry media brushes, tell it OK. And today I'm going to start with just a plain old, uh, let's do a, well, I'm going to start with my favorite, the number five charcoal pencil. I may change my mind. Now I have my draw pad all ready to go here. And what I want to do is, first of all, use my color. I want just plain black. And I'm going to lower my opacity on my charcoal pencil to maybe 66%. See what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. Now, what we're looking for on this particular image is we are looking to simulate the movement, the spiral staircase, is a perfect example of showing movement going all the way around. Starting over here in the outside in the corner and moving all the way around the image and into the circle in the middle. Also, the repetition of the bars the handrails or the support rails here really make a big difference in giving that illusion of movement. Now there's not a whole lot of trick here to doing this particular drawing other than use short strokes and also because it goes around I like to use the rotate tool right here because it makes it much easier and then I just hit B to go back to brush. This puts some of these areas of the staircase on the more natural direction of my hand so I get a better curve. This is really where it's more natural for my hand to fall to make some of these curved lines. What I am noticing is that I'm doing this at 66% opacity. This is a very light colored image. 
I'm starting to think that 66 might actually be a little heavy. I'm going to go down to about a 40. And I can just keep going on some of these support beams, things like that. Of course, when you're ready, I can go over here and I can turn off background image and you start to see the shape of our spiral staircase. And obviously I need to do more of it. Like so. But, again, you start to see how the image begins to take shape. Of course, if I want to go back uh, here on my rotate tool, I can go reset view. And by clicking that from the rotate tool, it brings it back to regular shape. So let me show you very quickly what this looks like in a finished product. Here we have an image that's closer to done. This may not be completely finished, but uh, I've worked on this a little bit longer. And you can see here, um, I've got uh, lots of detail on the support beams. Don't be afraid to use shadows. Don't be afraid to put things up in the ceiling area. Okay, obviously I think I need to go through here and finish some more of this area, but it's coming along. Um, other than that, it's a pretty simple project. Again, we're looking at movement, we're looking at rhythm and repetition. Uh, spiral staircase is a great example of these things and the way that the movement leads your eye around and into the middle of the image. All right, do a good job. Remember, do quality work, take pride in your work, do a good job.